The Cultural Revolution now in progress is making a dangerous term. It's actually been here for quite some time. You're watching elected leaders say you are not allowed to participate in our system if you're the wrong color. During a recent argument on the House floor, Democratic Congressman Cedric Richmond of Louisiana argued that some people just shouldn't be in the debate because they're the wrong skin color or their children are. Richmond's claim started off with a fight with Florida Congressman Matt Gates. You all are white males, you never lived in my shoes, and you do not know what it's like to be an African-American male. Are you suggesting that you're certain that none of us have non-white children? Be because you, you reflected on your black son and you said none of us could understand. Matt, Matt, stop. I'm not about to get sidetracked about the color of our children. We're talking no, about black kids. I reclaim my time. It is not about the color of your kids. It is about black males, black people in the streets How do that are getting killed. And if one of them happens to be your kid, I'm concerned about him too. And clearly I'm more concerned about him than you are. So, so let's be clear you're, about you're that. Claiming, so you're claiming you have more am, concern for my family than I do? Who in the hell do the you gentleman, think you are? Gentlemen, if the, the shoe gentleman, fits. Listen, you don't know how much we care about will our families. Kick this is dog outrageous. Holla. You should take those words down. The I know you care will about your family and love your family. The gentleman week, will suspend. It. The gentleman will suspend. The time belongs to the gentleman from Louisiana. Cedric, would you yield? Was, you was that a nerve? Yeah, uh, you damn right I yield to the gentleman from Louisiana. When you attack people on the basis of their race and their children, you get exchanges like that. It's disgusting. Of course, Cedric Richmond will never be disciplined for it. Afterward, Matt Gates issued this statement on Twitter. For all those wondering, this is my son, Nestor. We share no blood, but he is my life. He came from Cuba legally, of course, six years ago and lives with me in Florida. Congressman Matt Gates joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks so much for coming on. So. Cedric Richmond, who, by the way, went to Tulane Law School and brags about his Harvard degree, Mr. Oppressed character here, was telling you that you're not allowed to participate in the conversation because of your skin color? I believe everyone should be able to participate if they're black, white, or otherwise. And it's certainly offensive to have someone tell you that, you know, you don't know what a certain experience is like when they know nothing about you. Nestor is the light of my life. I couldn't imagine him loving, loving him any more if he was my own flesh and blood. I've raised him for the last six years, uh, and he is just the most remarkable young man. I am proud of him, and I am I'm honestly embarrassed for the United States Congress that we've resorted to criticizing each other based on um, our race and the race of our children, and I, I wish that we would be more productive going forward. So did any Republicans on uh, your side of the aisle stand up and make that point? I mean, it, se it seems like a pretty basic threshold that we're not going to attack people for things they can't control, like their skin color. Did anyone else join in your defense? Well, there were some Republicans who, uh, you know, pointed out that we shouldn't be treating anybody differently as a consequence of their race. Uh, I just got to say, though, he's, he's a remarkable young man. Uh, I am proud of him. And I've raised Nestor to believe that in our family, we treat everyone equally. It doesn't matter what their background is, what their race is. We treat every American with respect. Does he learn that at school as well, do you think? I mean, do you think the culture in which he's growing up reinforces that obvious and most American of all messages? Well, why don't you ask him, Tucker? Uh, he's, uh, he's, I think, piped in from the studio in Florida. Nestor, thanks for joining us. Um, what do you make of Cedric Richmond's attack today? Did you see all this? Um, I did not see it because uh, I was uh, sleeping from a workout from the night before. But yes, once I woke up, I, uh, I woke up to seeing all these tweets and I was like, what's going on? And Mike gave me a call t telling me about it. And then I saw it. And I think it's kind of unfair to, uh, you know, not, uh, to, not, to tell someone that they don't understand because they don't have like uh, because of their racial color while well, like um, he's fighting for equality but if you tell someone to not, not get involved that he doesn't understand because of his color you're kind of being a hypocrite there yes I think that's very nicely put um, Matt I mean Congressman Gates saying something just... like this out loud seems like the kind of thing that you know in normal times you'd be censured for I cannot believe that it's acceptable in the United States Congress 
for someone to tell someone else that they're fighting for their children more than they are. Tucker, you have a son. How would you feel if someone said to you that uh, they, you know, were fighting for your own family more than you were? So that's why I got very upset. Uh, but, you know, for the, for the sake of Nestor and my story, we're a proud, happy family. We love each other very much. And uh, Nestor's on his way off to college in the fall, and I just couldn't be happier and prouder of the young man he's become and the fact that he is embracing these American values that everyone should be treated fairly and equally. That's exactly right. I tell my kids, you're not responsible for who your relatives are. In their case, thank heaven. You're responsible for what you do and the choices that you make. That's the promise of America. If we abandon that, we're done. Congressman, thanks so much for coming on. Nestor, nice to meet you.